going on everybody? It is Fitz Miller back here with another video. As you can see, we are in Daytona Beach, Florida for Slammed Enough Daytona. Thankfully, our hotel was close to the venue itself, so we're just walking. It's gonna be a whole lot easier than trying to park. About two o'clock this afternoon, we're getting ready to go see what they have at the show. So, I'll see y'all when we get there. What do y'all think of the Tiguan? Lime green on VSXXs, I believe. Beautifully fitted, front and rear. Very good car. A little bit of camber, which I don't know how they do on these things. Either custom arms, or I don't know if they make them or what. A little tint on the headlights as well. Very unique. We got a GS, white and black. This is like the Fitz aesthetic right here. White and black interior, junction produce. Maybe not, but very good, very simple. A purple BRZ. Now, I don't know if y'all like spacers or not. It's got like a six inch spacer up front, but con size, uh, they're in the middle for me. They're in the middle. The coolest part about this car that you guys will like is that it is supercharged. If you guys want to scan this, go for it, but supercharged BRZ, very fun to see. Got a blue WRX. Now, I wanted to come over here because he is absolutely stepping with the chrome gram lights. I don't know how much those are worth, but I would take 10 sets if I could get them. Pretty clean stock for Caros. I think it might be an STI. Chrome in this blue is very pretty. I like it. Cool little Z4 on some works. Fitted in the front and absolutely fitted in the rear. I think these are over fenders. This is like peak fitment right here as far as static fitment goes. Very pretty. And then a very pretty wrapper paint on this thing. Such a good little car. We have a North Carolina local car, DSM Titty, but this purple Civic behind me. Super low, super clean on the heritage wheels. It's definitely a cool little Civic. This Corolla right here, Ryan and I ran into this guy at like one in the morning in Gatlinburg out on the strip. They were at the vape shop or something, but crazy to see it all the way down here in Florida as well. I'm not gonna lie, there are a lot of reps in the show and there is one car that I'm gonna show you guys where the catfish policy absolutely should have came into place. If not, a lot of the other cars here already. We have a tiny Honda Beat. They make go-karts bigger than this thing. And if this guy can have real rays right here, real volts, you can too. Zebra interior, absolutely fire. Matching mats, little Pikachu, yellow accents. Such a cool little car, man. This Civic right here, fast as fuck. He's got meat front and rear, and I don't know if it's all-wheel drive, but I would put money on it. He's got carbon doors, carbon front end, and then if we walk around the front, let me show you what he has under the hood. Turbo K series, I believe. Single turbo, very well done, very well gone through. Spunk everything, very good car. Got an absolutely fire JZX90 on some SSRs. Beautiful, like a Montego blue color, similar to that of the Miata. Very clean, dude. No stickers. You don't need any. Peak car right here. This is the formula. Y'all, I guess they like Zs in Florida because I've seen like seven or eight 350s already. Right here, we're getting ready to walk past the lineup of like eight Teslas in a row. They're all bagged. They're all on wheels. Kind of crazy to see all of them out. Number one, we got the SpaceX edition which is kind of a nice little touch on Vossens. We had a carbon wheel. This thing is so, so beautiful. I give this Tesla a 10 out of 10. It's got a kitted wide body orange Tesla SUV. I forgot what they're called. They also have the white interior on this thing, which is so sexy. White carbon. Look at this fucking thing, dude. So pretty. I don't even know what wheels these are. I doubt they're Teslas. They might be OEM though. We're just gonna skip over this Tesla. It's a little sussy. It's on like STRs in a weird color. Now this one, however, stock gray, beautiful GMRs on its nuts, bro. Very clean. I don't think it's a plaid. I think it's just a custom steering wheel, but very cool. He's got an edit going on the car. Nice little touch. Like I said, oh my bad. Beautiful AGs. We got a Duracell charging this thing. That's fire. Bruh, how do you have a Tesla on air, right? Tesla on air. Wonderful. You're in the rear. You're in the right direction. And then you go out and you get niches, bro. Or odd hunts. I 
just will never understand. We've got two fire Malice booth cards. We got Kramer SS's Supra. Beautiful, beautiful carbon front end, good fender on some, I think they're GMRs, but I could be wrong. Very beautiful car. And then we have Divine Media's NSX on Blitz 03's. Chrome in the black is just so fucking beautiful. Two very, very good cars. We got Kyle's R32 wide body on some wide spec wheels. The thing is so fucking pretty and I miss mine every single day, but very fun to see this thing out at the show. Next up, we have an S14.5. We have an S15 front end on an S14. We're on some baby heritage wheels. Like, I think they're like 16s, bro. Very good. Very well gone through inside and out. I like this color. And once again, CS14 with the S15 front end. We got a cool little either M2 or 235i. We got the overdue drift livery on the stance car. Let me know what you guys think of this type of livery on a stance car. Manual. Dude, BMWs, you did not have to do much. Roof box. If you all saw the Malice pre video, you would have seen this car already, but brand new AMG wagon, on air, wheels, beautiful color. One of my favorite cars here, hands down, dude. Look at this thing. So, so beautiful. So simple. So simple. You really don't need much. Mercedes interiors are top fucking tier as well. So, plaid seats. So, so nice. And I guess they're Vossens. Very nice. Corvettes are already fast out of the box as is. We got a Corvette Exo car, which has got to be stupid fucking fast. Crazy fabrication work all throughout this car, dude. And like I said, this thing's got to be so light and so fucking scary. It's probably even too scary to drive. We have a PMD VIP booth car, LS430, some sort of full kit across this whole car. We got some wide spec SSRs, and then a presumably simple yet very clean interior. Very well gone through the whole thing. This is one of the coolest booth cars here by far. As far as a Corolla goes, this thing fucks, dude. This thing's actually a pretty cool little show car. Again, arguably one of the coolest cars here. Camaro SS, fast and stance, bro. He's got wide ass fucking meat in the rear. Stock Camaro SS wheels in the front. But again, to have a fucking fast car and on its nuts, so fucking cool. Like I said, bro, carbon hood, fitted in the front on the stocks, and then my favorite thing, dude, tucking so much wheel, so much meat in the rear of this thing. It's honestly impressive and it's cool as fuck, too. We got a nutty E46, full carbon front end on this thing, wide as a big I think they're just carbon overs, but still very cool. WCIs, I'll leave you all to those. And then carbon rear over. Pretty well done, dude. Very wide and very stylish. I like the carbon on the blue. Very good show car. ISF, cool enough as it is out of the box. These rotiform tri spokes, bro, they're like 19s or 20s, and they're so fucking fire. These tri spokes look like they're almost floating, dude, and there's so much of the wheel open, which is one of the plus sides of the tri spoke design, but a very beautiful wheel. And I don't know if I've ever seen rotiform tri spokes before in person, but they fit this car very, very well. Got an E92 M3 on some like 57 CRs, Rays, very beautiful, bronze on the white, so simple. And then we got Cam's car, F80 on its nuts, bright purple with the clears, very, very good. We got a GLK 350 bent on its nuts, light blue. This thing is so fucking cool. And this might be the first stance when I've seen. It's a very good show car. It's got room for all the kids as well. Like I said before, it does not take much. All white WRX, lip kit, we got clears, and then we got this like blue gray 57 DRs. Very good, very simple, and this is all you need. Alright, Scrooge, step your shit up, man. Marcus, step your shit up. We got a Q50, I don't know if it's a red sport or not. Bent out the ass, bro, as you guys can tell. He's got double digits on the front, and possibly with like negative 15, negative 20 in the rear. Full carbon front end, fenders, hood, beautifully wrapped. Such a crazy show car. I love this, bro. Marcus, step your shit up, man. This is all you. We've got a 1995 Suzuki Sidekick, which I might have seen two or three of these in my my entire life. It's wide body, it's on the little wheels. Definitely a cool little box car. Look at this thing. It's like a little K car, but American version. Crazy little box car. Steelies, wide body, completely gone through. 
little sussy interior. I'm not even gonna lie. Definitely a cool little car. We've got a Peach GT86. No luck, no luck. GG. So shout out Luke and this car. We've got another beautiful E92 M3 on the Heritage wheels, bagged on its nuts, chrome with the gold hardware matching the gold carbon roof. Very good. Here's something that you guys have also probably never seen in your life. We have a Ferrari in the show. I don't know if there's anything special about it. Just an older Ferrari. Could not tell you what it is. But towing a jet ski. So why not? Fuck it. Ferrari towing a jet ski faux today in the Slam Enough show. Alright, now listen. I'm not normally one to like talk shit on people's cars. I hate that. I hate when people do that. But what in the goddamn fuck is this? Like if Slam Enough is going to be kicking cars out, kicking people out for like little bacon fenders, uh, messed up wraps, whatever the other minuscule things were they need to come and look at this car like what in the actual fuck is going on with this we have a rattle can front bumper i'm just confused man we going we going to keep moving we got jared's laurel recently resprayed like a couple days before the show the whole kit everything was off of this car so to see it here in the show freshly painted we went with like a white and a cream mixed with, like a pearlescent purple flake pink flake and this thing came out so good if y'all remember it it used to be painted pink and that was like single stage but he went full fucking out for this car moving forward it came out so good dude so if you're watching this huge shout out to you and i fucking love your car this thing is on air so for big aggressive kits like this it definitely saves them ryan bro come on man i'm waiting for you it's your turn to get a kit and some paint you're up next but this thing looks super good bro not the ultima with the gtr front end no way dude no way this doesn't exist it's not real i could not tell you what this is but i could tell you that it is one of the hardest cars here so starting out with the tail lights we got a full kitted vip big body build welded flares going from the bumper all the way up all the way through the door beautiful vip interior got the champagne glasses in the back and the front vip table black interior beautiful blue color and easily one of the hardest cars here dude. such a good car i think it's a crown all right we got a new corolla on some fucking meat i don't know what wheels these are definitely bent as you guys can see from the front very meaty stance setup but i'm just gonna assume he drives it so this thing's pretty fucking cool beautiful cayman so simple so clean the blue and the yellow is awesome and then the blue and the black wheels i would go chrome personally still such a beautiful car we got a volkswagen jetta on the ag futuras i love five spokes five spokes on european cars go dummy hard your average stance build it's pretty good we have a pretty cool q50 or q60 on some triple chrome ssrs very very good car and then next i think this is like a new six series it's definitely got the big grill it's on its nuts stock bmw wheels beautiful color it's like a it's like a bronze flake in this deep gray paint carbon mirrors dark ass tint carbon diffuser in the rear end and brand fucking new dude so somebody's got some money and some style very cool to see out here next up we got an ls 400 on some like xt7s or something xt7 reps gmrs beautiful color pink tint wheels very simple, very good car. We have a Y32 Gloria. Very simple, very clean. I think these are like Vishnu something, but look at this tint, crazy tint. I don't think it looks like this from the inside. Very cool to see, I like it. And if you're in this, I'm sorry, I didn't see that you were in there. We've got an FD on some wide spec BSKFs. Triple chrome, I don't know if it's turbo or not. Oh fuck, it's LS. <laughs> Never mind. Are y'all taking rotary or the LS? The age old question. I I'd put an LS in, man, that'd be fun as fuck. I think this is Montego blue. Cool LEDs in the rear. Definitely nice to have LEDs as a little touch, not covering the whole car. Very beautiful, I think it's like a Montego blue. Very beautiful RX-7. We've got a fire LS400 on some like 16s, man. Little wheels for an LS400. Simple trunk setup with the wood, very well boxed off. And then we got the VIP interior. It's actually a Celsius being right hand drive. Very clean, dude. Very well gone through. Again, on the Equips, bro. Equip 05s, I think. Very good car. And to round off the show coverage, we're ending with a 745 IO, the long wheelbase, absolutely on its nuts. And then lastly, we have an old SEMA. This is the same one from the pre-meet on the white Meisters. Millennium Jade, rest in peace. And that's gonna be it. When 
worlds collide. <laughs> there's also like a big dance convention this same weekend as well. So there's like 50-50 split half stance like emo people and then a bunch of like 12 year old girls that all of them win nationals. So very, very packed weekend here in Daytona. I've just been informed that it's cheer, uh, not dance, so. You guys know with shows, there's always some cool shit in the parking lot as well. Starting off with like an old Cadillac and sedan. On its nuts, OEM Plus with some Mazda wheels. Got a nice little lineup, bro. M4, G, and then a fucking bent Mazda 3. On its nuts as well, dude. My God. Right, we got a new 8.6. We got a LS4. Oh, no, it's a cells here. My bad. Bent out the ass. 32 HKS edition. I will forever miss mine, bro. But very pretty. Cobalt blue. Six gen on the tri spokes. Static as fuck. It's the same cabbie we saw as last time. Slabbed out here on the little saw blades with the dark green top, dude. Nardo gray. Such a cool little coupe. So fucking clean, too, dude. Little Mark II. Very, very clean. We got another Celsior and a Toyota, I don't know, Crown. Something we do not see here on the East Coast at all. We've got a fucking rally build, rally truck build. I forgot what the actual name of it is called, but cool Ranger, bro. Spec the fuck out. Very capable little truck. Got a gray 8.6. We got an NB. We got a Q50 neon yellow. Kinda crazy, dude. I really don't mind the neon on this thing. Newer cars, nice angles like this. I fuck with it. We have some sort of a Mitsubishi sedan. This thing's fire, dude. Neon yellow, little, I don't know what they are, rotiforms? Yeah, no, I don't even know. This thing is bent on its nuts, very clean, dude. And you never see a Mitsubishi done like this, dude. It's like a Gen 1 Lancer or something. We've got a dark green 335 status seats fitted on some emits. I would absolutely do an E90 coupe. I guess technically it's an E92, but very pretty. All right, you, <laughs> you guys know I like stance cars, but at heart, I love donks, bro, and modern donks. Here we have a new charger on like 26 inch smoothies. Absolutely massive. <laughs> that shit's crazy, dude. We got a couple of the hard hitters out here. Highway Mom, Slaughterhouse, Bent fucking Mazda Hatch. This is the same one from the little pier meet last night. A couple of these were, but very cool to see out, dude. I like that static guys actually drive their shit. Very nice. See, bro, I honestly don't mind the Heritage tri spokes. Like, y'all let me know if you think they're repies or not. I don't think Heritage as a company makes rep wheels. Like, in theory, technically, yes, they do make rep wheels, but they kind of take the old initial design and make them their own. But I don't know if y'all would count that as reps or not. Absolutely bent, coked out G37. Uh, I guess it's a G35 sedan. Look at this, bro. Big numbers. Big numbers in the front of this thing. Hopefully his wheels turn. That or he needs an alignment. Oh yeah, bro, bro needs an alignment. I am not sure what happened to the audio, but thank you guys so much for watching and that is gonna be it for today's video. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.